Hello again, my first and second grade wonderful musical scholars. It is awesome to be with you again uh, this time. And I'm super pumped because you know what? Today I'm walking with Jesus. We're going to find out about that in just about 40 seconds or so. But first, let's sing Hola. I'm super pumped today. I'm going to put my guitar down because that is our devotion, Walking with Jesus. So I'm going to read you a little bit about it and my scripture verse coming up and a short prayer and two songs today. Yep, two songs today. So here is Walking with Jesus. What does it mean to walk with Jesus? We do what he would do and say what he would say. And that's not easy. Sometimes our friends say and do things that Jesus would not do. That's why the song that we're going to hear shortly says, walking with Jesus alone. But you're never really alone if Jesus is with you. When others do bad things, tell them about Paul. He did bad things. Then he started walking with Jesus. These are some of our friends from the Bible. When people say bad things, tell them about Peter. He said some bad things, but then he walked back to Jesus. When people go places they shouldn't go, tell them about Jonah. He disobeyed, but then he walked, uh, oops, I mean, he swam back to God. Remember, it's better to walk with Jesus than run with the world, especially when the world is not doing the right thing. I'd rather walk in the light than walk in the darkness. And I know that if I walk with Jesus, I'm walking in the light. And that's our scripture verse from Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Say that with me. Let us walk in the light of of the Lord. One more time because it's so important. Let us walk in the light of the Lord. Bow your heads for this very short prayer. Lord, may I always walk with Jesus, even if I have to walk alone. Amen. And of course, remember, when we are walking with Jesus, we're not walking alone, ever. All right, well, I've got a song for you right now called Walking with Jesus. I am going to show you the words, and it's a very simple song. And sometimes what you'll hear is that there's two parts of the song, and they will be even sung at the same time together. It's pretty cool how that works out. But you're going to get a chance to see the words. Here's the song right now, Walking with Jesus. <laughs> instrumental right now just the instruments are playing back to the beginning walking with Jesus walking every day all along the way for I am walking with Jesus walking with Jesus Every day, all along the way, for I am 
you have it. Walking with Jesus. Now what we're going to do is we I'm going to ask you to stand up right now because I'm going to sing another song called It's a Great Day to Praise the Lord. And I'll stand up. There's just a little bit of a part of it where we get to do a little bit of moving with our feet. So the first part of the song goes like this. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of God. That's the first part of the song. So it's a great day right here. We just put our hands out to praise the Lord. Our hands go up to God. All right. And then walking in the light. Every time we hear that word light, our hands go up and around and back together. So try it with me. Here we go. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Now the next part goes like this. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Let's try that part. We're going to just do a little bit of a walking, you know, walking right in place. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Let's put it all together right now. It's a great day to praise the Lord. 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 Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. It's also a great day to serve. The Lord. So when we, I, the action for serve, our hands just go out because when we serve the Lord, we use our hands a lot of the times. So here we go. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. It's a great day to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light, walking in the light of God. It's also a great day to praise the Lord. Oh, we already did that, praise the Lord. It's a great day to pray. I want to that, That's the word I wanted to say. It's a great day to pray to the Lord. It's a great day to pray to the Lord. It's a great day to Pray to the Lord. It's a great day to pray to the Lord. Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. And it's a great day to love the Lord. 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 Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. And one more time, it's a great day to praise the Lord. 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 Walking in the light of God. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walk, walk, walk in the light. Walking in the light of God. Walk with God today. You'll never be alone. All right, sit back down again because we've got more wonderful things to talk about. And today, my friends, we're going to be talking about 
woodwind instruments. I'll be showing you some pictures and I will also be playing some examples so that you can hear what these instruments sound like. So I'm just going to cue up the music here quickly so it's ready when I want it to be ready. So just a couple of seconds here. Thanks for being so patient. And here we go. So if you recall, several weeks ago, I showed you both a flute and a recorder. And those are woodwind instruments, instruments that we have to blow into in order to make a sound. They're called woodwinds because in, initially they were all made out of wood, but we know the flute is made out of metal, the piccolo. Uh, so I'll talk about those in a little bit. So if you want, I want you to look right up here because here's a picture of somebody playing a flute. Remember, we that's the instrument that you have to blow air over the hole in order to produce the sound and the sound is going to vibrate inside whatever it happens to be, the metal right here, and it's going to come out at the end here. So this is the, this is the flute. Most of them you're gonna see are silver in color. Some are gold in color as well. And then I'm gonna play you an example of the flute. So you can hear it's just very short. It's only a few seconds long, but this is what the flute sounds like. <laughs> Now the next instrument that I'm going to talk about is the piccolo. The piccolo is much smaller than a flute. We kind of call it the flute's cousin. And right here, and part of the part of the piccolo can be made out of a special kind of wood as well. So I'm going to play the piccolo. It sounds higher. One thing I'm going to tell you: the smaller the instrument, the higher the sound. The larger the instrument, the lower the sound. We'll see how some of these larger instruments are going to sound much lower. So here we go. Here's the piccolo. Hear how high that is? So now the next instrument I'm going to talk about is a clarinet. This girl right here is playing a clarinet. She still has to press down on keys, just like people have to do for the piccolo and the flute, but you will notice there that you have to blow air into it. And one thing that's really different about the clarinet is, I'm going to turn the page for a moment so I can show you something called a reed. These are reeds here. They're pieces of cane, which is a plant. They're very, very thin pieces of wood. And in a clarinet, you have to clamp that onto the mouthpiece, and then you blow into it, and it vibrates. When something vibrates, it moves, and it produces a sound. So you can see these are different kinds of reeds, and these are used for some of these other instruments as well. But I'm gonna go turn back to the clarinet right here. So still playing the keys, but the, the air, the, excuse me, the music comes out of the end right here. The air goes into the mouthpiece that has a reed in it. You have to press down on the keys, and then here's what the clarinet sounds like. That was a clarinet. Well, let's talk about this next instrument here. You can see it is a larger instrument. Do you remember what I told you about? The larger the instrument, the lower the sound. It's taking longer for the air to come through there. This is what we call a bass clarinet. And if we have the word bass, B-A-S-S, -S, in front of an instrument, it means that it's going to be a lower sounding instrument. So bass clarinet is going to sound lower than the clarinet. Here's what the bass clarinet sounds like. Wow. 
was pretty low, wasn't it? Well, I'm going to turn the page and we're going to talk about the other woodwind instruments here. So I'm going to go up here for an instrument called the oboe. The oboe also uses a reed and uses reeds as well. You have to put it in the mouthpiece. Remember I told you the reeds, they vibrate together, they move together and produce a unique sound to that instrument. So this is going to be the oboe. And the next instrument right here is called an English horn. You can see there's a like a horn shape at the end. All of these instruments, they're going to give us different sounds depending on how, how large they are, how small they are, what kind of mouthpiece they have, what kind of opening is at the end. You can see they're different in all of these. They all produce those different unique sounds. Let's listen to the English horn right now. And now we're going to get even lower and larger because we're going to go to the bassoon and I'm going to tell you that we also have a contra bassoon which is going to be very low. So both of these instruments are low sounding instruments. Also have a reed. You can see the mouthpiece is different. It's going to produce those different sounds. Let's listen first to the bassoon followed by the contra bassoon. Now we go to the contra bassoon. That is so low. But wait, we're not quite finished yet. Those were instruments that we normally would hear in an orchestra. But we've got two more woodwind instruments that I'm going to talk about today that we won't hear in an orchestra hardly ever. I'm not going to say ever, but most of the time we don't. And one is going to be the saxophone right here. And that's used in a lot of jazz music or gospel music. And also with another instrument that I showed you several weeks ago, which was the recorder. So you're usually not going to hear that in an orchestra because they're overpowered, especially the recorder. But the recorder is a great instrument to play. It gives you an introduction to learning about music and how wonderful it is to play in a group. So first I'm going to play the saxophone and then I will play the recorder. <laughs> And now you will hear the recorder. you enjoyed learning a little bit about these musical instruments because a lot of times we hear their names and we don't always know what does that sound like what which instrument did you like best out of all that you heard maybe someday you'll get a chance to play flute or clarinet or bassoon maybe it's going to be the saxophone maybe the recorder the English horn or the oboe maybe the piccolo 
all sorts of different instruments, and those are just the woodwind instruments. We'll get a chance to uh, talk about some other instruments in another lesson, but it's always good to be introduced to them. All right, well, I'm gonna put that book down here for a moment, and what I'd like to do is go to another song right now, which is, and you're gonna get the words for this, it's called American Every Day. Uh, I'm sure most of you know that we had a wonderful inauguration this week of President Joe Biden. And, you know, we're really talking now how we're all American and we really should, you know, think as one country, as one mind. Let's hope that's going to be the case. Uh, but let's listen to this song right now, American Every Day. Let me cue up the music and you get a chance to look at the words. They're really very easy. And what happens to be the American way? Maybe you start thinking about that. How are we different? How are we the same? So here we go. American every day and you know as I was looking at the words ago we are American every day living we are living the American way some rhyming words there day and way I want you to think about a lot of the songs that you know most of them have a lot of rhyming words why it makes it much easier to remember them those rhyming words really do help us in memorizing songs and they just, they stay in our head. 
Well, here's a song that has stayed in my head for many, many years. One of my very favorites. And it's called Down by the Bay. Why? Because it's got a lot of fun rhyming words in it. But what's even more fun, oh, I'll tell you at the end of the song, okay? So I want you to listen and I want you to just kind of think in your mind, hmm, what are the rhyming words there? The beginning sound is going to be different, but the ending sound is the same. So let's have a little fun right now. So here's the song. I'll sing it. I always sing my books. I shouldn't say always, but almost always. Here's how the song goes. I'm pretty sure some of you might even know it. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a goose kissing a moose down by the bay? So think to yourself, in this line here, what are the two rhyming words? You got it? Yeah, goose and moose. All right, I'm gonna turn the page and I want you to listen for some more rhyming words. Here we go. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay. What's the rhyming words right here on this page? If you said whale and tail, you are right. But guess what? I'm going to go back to the previous page because right here, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. What were those rhyming words? Yep, grow and go. That's it. Oh, and I almost forgot. Down by the bay, my mother will say, bay and say, more rhyming words. I hope you picked those out, but come on, let's continue with the song because there's more fun rhymes. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, oh, oh, let's see what she's gonna say. Oh, my pages are sticking together. Here we go. Did you ever see a fly wearing a tie down by the bay? Did you pick out those rhyming words? Fly, tie, love it. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a bear combing his hair down by the bay? Our rhyming words, hope you've got it in your mind. Bear, hair. You got it. All right, I think there's another one. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, I love this one. Did you ever see llamas eating their pajamas down by the bay? can't imagine all those llamas eating their pajamas. Now you know the rhyming words, don't you? All right, here we go. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see an apple wearing a bapo? Yes, it rhymes, but does it make sense? Mm -mm. Did you ever see an orange eating a blouse? Mm, is that a rhyme? No. Let's see if they've got one for us. 
Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? What are the rhyming words? Time rhyme. Down by the bay. Now my friends, I hope sometime soon we can be together so that we can make up our own rhymes. And of course, I always love to show my favorite page because my favorite page always has the music on it. You know we're starting to learn about reading these music notes. And of course, the words are underneath. We put those together and we can learn new songs. Now you know one of the reasons to learn about music and about all the signs and symbols. It helps us learn new songs. And it can help you write a song as well. Maybe there's some composers out there. Someday you'll be writing some songs. Maybe you've already done it. So there we go, Down by the Bay, one of my very, very favorite songs. Well, my friends, our time is up. So of course, oh, I don't even need my guitar for this one because you know we sing Adios Amigos at the end of our music lesson. So here we go, ready? Adios amigos, adios my friends, hasta la vista, I'll see you again. La 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 Ole! That's right. So my friends, remember, stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you all until we meet again. Goodbye.